How can MateSmart save me time and add consistency to my workflow? Well, one of the ways would be to use the print scheduler. Let's take a look at that now. A print schedule is composed of three components. A where to print, a when to print, and a what to print. Although I'm calling it the print scheduler, it might be more aptly named the print slash email scheduler because it does email just as easily as it prints. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create the where to print, and in this case it's going to be a printer. I'll give my printer a name, call it the shop printer, and I'll select a printer. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select a print emulator. Click OK. Save that. And I'm going to create a schedule. And in this case, I want to print out PM lists every Tuesday. So I'm going to create a new schedule called Tuesday at 8. And this name is just something to help you remember what is contained by the schedule. I'm going to print every Tuesday at 8 a.m. And when I click Save, it adds that schedule. Now notice this schedule, Tuesday 8, only has one print instance, and that is, of course, Tuesday at 8 a.m. I did create another schedule earlier that actually is called daily and using this one schedule name actually will create seven print instances, one for each day of the week. Okay, so I have my where to print, my when to print. Now I'm going to create my what to print. And this is where I put the print or email job together. I'll click new. In this case it's going to be a print job. And I'll call it the Tuesday PMs. I will use the Tuesday at 8 schedule because what I want is I want the PMs to print out for the people that will be doing them every Tuesday at 8 a.m. When they walk in on day shift, they can pick up their PMs off the printer and go to work immediately. It doesn't matter if I'm at work or on vacation or attending to other duties. MateSmart will handle all of this. The print settings I'm going to use will be my shop printer. Now in this case I'm going to go ahead and create a new report definition although there may be some in here and I see there is. I'm going to create the what to print by clicking on the reports menu or the reports button rather. There is a menu too for reports that can be accessed from the view menu item. Once again, click the New button. First thing I'm going to do is pick a report file. And what I want is a PM list. And I think I'll just go ahead and pick one that has quite a bit of information on it. Well, I think I like this one. Okay, when I pick the PM list, and there are about 40 different formats of PMs in MateSmart, when I pick the one I want, MateSmart will determine what date fields are appropriate for that particular report. In this case, I'm going to pick the date due. And what I want MateSmart to do, I want it to go back, way back when, to capture all of the PMs that may not have been completed. So I'm going to go back on my date from, just an arbitrary number of years. That should get everything. And then I'm going to go out seven days from today. I'll say the 15th of December 2014. Now keep in mind this literal date is not going to be used when the actual report is generated. Why? Because I'm using a relative date or a floating date. So MateSmart is going to calculate seven days out from whenever the schedule, that second part of this print job, 
called Tuesday 8. Whenever that schedule triggers, Mate Smart is going to go out seven days from that point and capture all the PMs that are already due or will be coming due up to that seven day period. And I'll go ahead and just give this a name, something probably isn't the best name, but just to help us remember. Now we have other filters here if we want to filter it by a particular individual or you can see some of the others uh, we could do so. But in this case I'm just going to go with what I have here. I click the save button and there is my uh, report definition. And we'll notice down here if we look at the script that is used and passed to the data reporting engine, and this isn't really something you ever need to interface with, experienced users may but you can see that it's actually saying today, and that this is back the arbitrary amount of days I had here, 11-8-2009, is apparently 1,856 days ago. And I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out six days from today. All right, so I'll just go ahead and save that. And exit this screen. And I'm going to go back now and refresh my drop down box for the reports. And there's my report. I want to always send this to the printer. And I'll click Save. So at this point, what's going to happen is MateSmart is going to wait around till the 9th, which is actually tomorrow. Uh, that'll be the next Tuesday that comes up at 8 a.m., and it's going to generate this report. Okay, well, let's go ahead and trigger this thing. First, I have to turn on the print scanner. So I'm going to go into the program configuration screen. Configuration more. And I'm going to turn on always print, schedule print jobs regardless of logged on user. Okay, so now the print scanner is searching for print jobs. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and jump start this. And the way you do that is you go in and you click the row. And I'll just set the next print date time back to some previous date. And this will cause MateSmart to trigger this print job when the print scanner encounters it. And I have the scanner set to search every one minute. So if we wait around for a little while, eventually this will trigger and then it will reset itself. And there it goes right now. It's going to reset itself back to the next print instance automatically. We can see our print spooler, spooler is spooling up this print job. And this is what would come out on your actual physical printer. And we can see the next scheduled print date and time reset itself. So MateSmart is always going to cycle this print job automatically until you tell it to stop. Now that's a big time saver, and that really does add consistency to your workflow.